Good evening. Good evening, folks. We have got a mob. There's uh, 380 head in here. And that's baby calves and all. We made a cattle drive this morning and got them to Judy Farm. And they're shaded up right now. But there is a handful of good looking calves in here. You gonna go ahead and move them? Yeah, I'm gonna get the full rhythm. Yep. Here's our, here's our lead man right here. He's back. <laughs> He's back from vacation. Yep. Good weather up there. You came back and you brought. You, I told you to bring some cold weather back with I you. No, I brought the heat. Going to be bringing <laughs> the heat back with me. Although we didn't have heat up there, we had yep. 55 at night, 70s during the day. We had a, a day that was a little so, chillier. So you all went on a, a fishing trip. Just the men and the family. It's yeah. kind of a tradition. The guys' trip, yeah. The, or the the men's trip. The men's trip. Every every year we do. Yeah. We've done kayaking trips or <laughs> camping trips. So we went up north and. Anybody in the, so I saw, I'm just going to say this out there to see if I can find somebody on the way, on the way back on I, uh, highway 75, I think it was up north of Grayling area. There was somebody, there was a guy running a dairy. He was strip grazing. I could see him strip grazing Holstein. So if you're on here and you're watching it, <laughs> reach out or something. I saw your, you, your you farm. You saw him doing it. I saw poly wire. So that's awesome. It's kind of cool. I figured I'd say it on here to see if. Yeah. Somebody responds. If, if someone that watches your stuff or whatever. But. Absolutely. Yeah, it was cool. It was a good vacation. Well, we we certainly missed you, and I, I had to fill in for Isaac, folks, while he was gone. And you, when you have your head man leave for a week, it makes you appreciate him a little bit more when they come back. <laughs> uh, the cattle did good, and they, they yeah, seemed we, like they did good. We did good. You guys had some fun things happen, didn't you? We did. We did. It's some challenging things, and we made it through it. And yep. But you know that's that's what the the cattle deal is about. Boy, this morning though, herding all those babies down that yeah, road. That was. You well, got them. That was we, a little chore. We but got them good. all. It's always for me. It's a little stressful. Yeah. Cattle drives with this many babies. But yeah. You always, now that they're old enough, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's those ones that are uh, two days up to mm -hmm. ten days old. Yep. And after Some that, some of those older ones though, they'll spin around and want to go go back looking for mom if they're yeah. not they're not used to moving but so you it, kept them up pretty tight mm -hmm. with the herd and we had a couple cows behind just keeping the babies walking yep. and everything so. yep so tell me about your fishing trip up there did y'all catch any fish yeah we caught 50 gills and now you got to tell me what a gill is people don't know what gill blue, is blue gills blue gills <laughs> people call them brim some people call them sunfish panfish did y'all eat them yeah we ate them we had we had deep fried them and uh, peanut oil and some cajun breading and it was pretty good but. I saw it. You showed me a picture of your campsite up there. Y'all don't mess around. No, we're 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 real campers. We, <laughs> we do it. Um, the spot, the site we were at. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want anybody going there. There you go. But uh, no no electricity, no running water. Um, just a a, a pump, like a hand pump to get water, and then okay. a, a, an outhouse. Yeah. And it was it was it was nice. And you said. There was only one other person there the whole time. Yeah, there was only one other person. There was one person that drove in and drove around a little bit. But other than that, there was just one guy camping down below us, and he was gone most of the time anyway. So well, it looked like a beautiful area. Oh, it was big it was, timber. Yep, it looked like a, a cave driving back in there. Once I mean, you get north of Claire, uh, Michigan, you get up north of there on I-75 and and everything. It's it turns pretty. Pretty it's sweet. A lot of pine, white pine, and and furs and everything so yeah beautiful a lot of birch trees yep yep not, not as much grass as here <laughs> but i was still looking at all the grass up there and they grow some there's some nice warm you know there's native warm seasons up there yeah that are starting to grow and some yep. cool seasons and well they don't have the heat so the the grass it's mostly it. it's mostly cool seasons yeah 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 yep. it doesn't get as lignified up there either no, as it does here so stays vegetative for yeah. longer yeah that's right yep well i'll let you i'll let you go get your four wheel i just uh, wanted to we'll go uh get this these cattle moved yeah they did a good job on this paddock. they did man they, they laid surprised. down some they laid down some carbon didn't they there's a lot of there's a lot of grazing power in here though you know when you put the calves in i came back from my farm tour that i gave the day and there was some you couldn't even see in here that's how tall the grass yeah was. and now it's there's there's maybe 20% left standing. The yeah. rest is just trampled. It's just trampled. 
Yeah. You know, you take that many head walking back and forth for eight hours. Mm -hmm. Well, I said to the guys, I'm like, you guys aren't gonna, you guys are, it's gonna seem like we're giving them too much, but I was telling them where the paddocks were, where you're splitting, like, this is a lot of feet. And it's like, yeah, because there's a lot of miles in there now that we've joined them back up. That's right. And, and all they, the calves are starting to eat. Well, and, and you know, when a cow calves, uh, their demands double mm -hmm. for a while, you know, so mm -hmm. they're eating a lot of forage. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> tagging that calf. Dave's got the calf tag. Oh, he didn't have it tagged yet, does he? No, he's getting it tagged. Looks like he probably was just laying down. Oh, okay. That little buddy made the cattle drive. Yeah. The whole way. And I seen out. that. So that's a day old calf, and he made the whole cattle drive today. Yep. I kept expecting you all to catch him and put him in the cage. I know I was too, but he just kept walking. Kept so. going. This the hill at the driveway. He he was getting pretty slow, but yeah. he made the, the rest of the way. So. Yeah. And that's a pretty heifer there behind him. Yeah. That's one that's, of those ones you bought. Yeah, she's a beaut. Yep. She's gonna make a good cow if she keeps going like that. Yep. Right. All right, man. Thank you, Isaac. Yep. We've got uh, a ton of babies out here now. Mm. <laughs> oh, they haven't caught him yet. Ike's getting ready to get him. Got him. Now, David's got his tag ready. <laughs> Again. We have cows uh, that are concerned about their calf, but if they charge those guys and try and knock one of them down, that cow is sold. I'm not gonna tolerate cattle that attack you. And I know she's trying to protect her calf, but she can spin around in a circle sniffing at you like she's doing right there, but she better not hit you. If she hits you, she's gone. That's just our management. Now, other people I know grab them. And I had a guy that had a brand new pickup truck and he drove it out in the field to tag a calf off of these red Angus heifers. And he grabbed up that calf and this cow came after him and he dove, he dove into the back of the pickup truck, brand new pickup truck with the calf, trying to get a tag on it. And that cow jumped up into the back of that pickup truck. Jumped. I had the tailgate down, but she jumped up in that pickup truck with that guy. And he, about the time she got up in there, he rolled over the side with the calf and rolled under the pickup truck. And that cow jumped out of that pickup truck and just beat the just beat the snot out of that truck. Went all the way around it, just beating on it. Had his head under, pushing up on the truck. And he stayed under that truck. And finally, he, he got the tag in it. I don't know how, but he got the tag in it. Released the calf, and the cow finally walked off with her tagged calf. And he had a demolished, brand new four-wheel drive pickup. He was kind of laughing about it. Hey, David, you get her tagged? Yep, 2106. Good deal. That's 106 calves this year. But uh, he joked about it. He's like, well, I guess I should have went out and bought me an old clunker rather than a brand new pickup to go tag calves in. I'm like, no, you got mean, mean, mean cattle. You need to get rid of them cows. Um, you know, you got a cow that's going to try and kill you when you tag the calf. That's a cow that belongs on a hamburger, doesn't belong on the farm. I don't care how good a cow it is. It's not a good cow that tries to kill you, period. So we're getting ready to roll that wire up over there and uh, these cows are gonna be mo moving forward and uh, they're gonna get a new paddock. And everyone, we're gonna get out of here. Everyone have a good one and be safe out there and please hit that subscribe button. Thank you all.